League Brighton Hove Albion vs Brentford Prediction Team News Lineups Preview Brighton Hove Albion welcome Brentford to the American Express Stadium for a Premier League encounter on Wednesday night. While Roberto De Zerbi's side are looking to extend their unbeaten home run to six matches, Thomas Frank's men will endeavor to stretch their undefeated streak over the Seagulls to three games. Match Preview Brighton entered Saturday's contest against Chelsea in buoyant mood after back-to-back -back wins in their previous two matches over AEK Athens and Nottingham Forest helped the Seagulls extend their unbeaten run to seven games in all competitions. However, De Zerbi's depleted squad was unable to register a third win on the bounce as they suffered a 3-2 defeat at Stamford Bridge, despite boasting 68% possession, nine shots on target and playing the entire second half with an extra man following Conor Gallagher's first-half dismissal. Brighton, who remain eighth in the Premier League table and seven points adrift of the top four, have now scored in each of their last 30 top-flight matches while they have both scored and conceded in each of their previous 18 league fixtures, their longest such run in the competition. A run of three successive home games is up next for Brighton, with an important Europa League group stage encounter with Marseille taking place after back-to-back -back Premier League clashes with Brentford and Burnley. Fixtures that De Zerbi and co. will be targeting maximum points from in their quest to climb back into the top seven. Success on Wednesday is not a given, though, as Brighton have drawn each of their last three home matches during an unbeaten five-game run on the South Coast. While they failed to win both home and away fixtures with Brentford last season, playing out an entertaining 3-3 draw on home soil in April. Following back-to-back -back defeats without scoring against Liverpool and Arsenal. Brentford returned to winning ways when they beat Luton Town 3-1 on home soil last weekend, their fifth Premier League win of the season. After an uneventful first half, Neil Maupay and Ben Mee put the B's two goals in front in the first 11 minutes of the second half. Before Jacob Brown pulled one back for the visitors 15 minutes from time to set up a nervy finish. However, substitute Shandon Baptiste restored Brentford's two-goal cushion on the 81-minute mark and the hosts held on for maximum points. Thomas Frank has heaped praise on his side's very complete performance in a well-deserved victory and although Brentford remain 11th in the Premier League table, level on points with Chelsea in 10th. They are only five points adrift of the European positions and three behind Brighton in eighth heading into the festive period. Brentford enter Wednesday's clash having only won one of their last five Premier League matches, a 2-0 triumph at Chelsea in October, but it is worth noting that the three games that they lost during this run were against Newcastle United. Manchester United and Liverpool, while they also played out a 1-1 draw with Nottingham Forest who have turned the city ground into somewhat of a fortress since their promotion to the top flight two seasons ago. The Bees have also won only one of their previous five midweek fixtures in the Premier League as well as just two of their last nine visits to Brighton, but the aforementioned draw with the Seagulls last season should provide them with confidence of claiming another positive result on Wednesday. Team News Brighton duo Lewis Dunk and Mahmoud Dahoud will serve the final game of their respective two- and three-match suspensions in midweek, while Ansu Fadi, Tarek Lamptey, Purvis Estupin and Alfai, Sali March knee, Julio Nciso both knee and Danny Welbeck muscle all remain in the treatment room. Wednesday's game will likely come too soon for Adam Webster Nock. So Igor Julio and Jan Paul Van Heck are set to continue at centre-back while James Milner could replace Jack Hinchelwood at left-back. Joao Pedro, who scored his 10th goal of the season against Chelsea last weekend, Keru Mitoma and Pascal Gross all began on the substitutes bench against Chelsea. But the Seagulls trio will be pushing to start against Brentford and could replace Adam Lalina, Buonanot and Carlos Baliba, respectively. As for Brentford, Rico Henry Nee, Aaron Hickey Thigh, Kevin Shade Groin and Nathan Collins' ankle all remain sidelined along with suspended duo Ivan Tony and Christian Norgard, the latter of whom will serve a one-match ban due to an accumulation of yellow cards. Matthias Jensen, Josh De Silva both Thigh and Mikkel Damsgaard knee are all closing in on a return, but Wednesday's game may come too soon for the trio, 
while Christopher Adjur will be assessed after pulling out of the first 11 shortly before kickoff in the win over Luton due to a foot problem. Saman Gatos could continue as a makeshift right back if Adjur is not deemed fit to start, with midfielder Vitaly Janelt set to operate on the left side of defense once again. While Baptiste will be pushing to start in the engine room ahead of the suspended Norgard. Brighton Hove Albion possible starting lineup. Verbruggen, Veltman, Van Heck, Igor. Milner, Gilmore, Gross, Adingra, Pedro, Matoma, Ferguson. Brentford possible starting lineup. Flecken, Adjur, Me, Pinnock, Janelt, Onika, Baptiste, Yarmaliak, Mumo, Maupe. Wissa. We say, Brighton Hove Albion 2-2 Brentford. Although both Brighton and Brentford are having to cope without a number of first-team regulars, the two teams will be confident in their own abilities to navigate their way towards maximum points on Wednesday. The Seagulls will be regarded as slight favorites, but there is little to separate these two sides and we believe that they will ultimately cancel each other out in an entertaining score draw. Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.